I, Gunika Varma from DPS Electronic City, Bangalore, on behalf of EduTV, a student's favorite program, would like to welcome you all for this session on transition from schools to colleges. We have with us eminent personality, Ms. Sanaya, Officer Directorate of International Affairs from Assam Downtown University, Guwahati. Today, we have students from different schools here with us who have queries regarding the process on the smooth transition from schools to colleges. This is Tanaya Deka Bongchang from Assam Downtown University. Uh, hello to everyone, one and all present in this uh, session. I'm working as an officer in the Directorate of International Affairs. Not only India, we have students already from you know Nigeria. We are already having students from our neighboring countries like Bhutan, Bangladesh. Uh, then there is from Nepal, also a student from South Korea. So we have tried to bring diversity to our university with diversity of the uh, students. So from different regions, from uh, different countries. And uh, basically about Assam Downtown University, we would like to tell you that Assam Downtown University is an UGC recognized university. You can uh, definitely visit our website to know further details. It's www.edtu.in. Basic things that I can tell you that Assam Downtown University is one of the Northeast India's best placement driven university. We have been uh, focused very much with our programs like there is paramedical studies, the humanities, there is management that is commerce and management, then there is pharmaceutical science, there is science, faculty of science, there is engineering and technology, there is faculty of nursing courses, then there is uh, some diploma courses available also under paramedical sciences also PhD. From undergraduate program to PhD, I mean from undergraduate to master degree to PhD, we have everything over here in our university. So once the student completes their class 12 uh, from their school, I mean from the, the distinctive st uh, state or from their distinctive schools, uh, once they join us, us in our university, they'll get almost uh, the facilities of undergraduate program. They can also do their post-graduation in case they are interested in they can also pursue their, after their post-graduation, they can also pursue their master degree. Hi ma'am, thank you for Hello. being here. My question is, let it be any course, what all are the scholarships that the university offers to the students? question was not there I would have answered uh, I mean I would have told you about these scholarship schemes that university is providing we have here EWS school scholarship which is a hundred percent scholarship we are providing to the students for study then there is meritorious scholarship if uh, the student has 80 to 89 percent in their class 12 or maybe in their graduation the student can avail some kind of scholarship then there is a 90 to 94 percentile students also can avail some scholarships. So this is under the meritorious scheme. The students who have 95 or above 90 or above starting from 80 till 95, we are providing some kind of scholarship to the meritorious students. Other than that, we are also actually conducting a common scholarship test for all the medium of students. Okay. From last two years, we have been conducting this kind of scholarship test in our university through online mode. So basically, uh, for all over the world, one is already over, which was uh, held on 5th of Feb. But yes, again, in the coming months or maybe in this month last, uh, we will conduct another one's common scholarship test, which the students can all the, I mean, not only you, but maybe all the students who are, uh, I mean, wanting to, you know, study in our university or to get some scholarship to study in our university can apply for that. And they can sit for the exam. So uh, through that also, we are providing some kind of uh, maybe, you know, up to 100% scholarship. Okay. So uh, not only that, other than that, we are also having scholarship in arts and culture. Okay. There is also some specially able scholarship schemes to the specially able candidates who are uh, requesting or want to come to our university to study. So basically, almost, you know, there is also sports scholarship. So we have not only kept into the meritorious, the scholarship scheme, not only in the EWS category or not only in CST, we have tried to, you know, the, uh, to provide the schemes in all the fields, like maybe in the art and culture, maybe in the sports section, in everywhere, possibly. There is also some, you know, uh, in-house scholarship for our students. 
I mean the students who are already studying in our university, who are already doing their undergraduate program, if they want to do their post graduation in our university itself, they will also get some kind of scholarship. Just like you, when you come to our university, if you study in our university or undergraduate program, after that, you think that you will do your post graduation also in our university itself, then also might be you will get some scholarship. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our students of Delhi Public School, Bangla East, we, Ashriya and Melanie, are excited to announce that EduTV has started a movement for higher education for all. We are proud to inform you that corporates and Indian private universities have joined this movement by offering scholarships to eligible schools across the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Gulf countries, and Africa. These scholarships are based on merit, sports, extracurricular activities, need-based, principal's recommendation, innovation by students, girl scholars, wards of defense personnel, daughters and sons of teachers, admission aspirants from remote places, South country aspirants, students who studied in war zones, single parent, students with more than two siblings, and students whose parents are not eligible for bank loans. This is a fantastic opportunity for many students and we are thrilled to see the positive impact it will have on their education. We urge other school corporates and universities to join this movement and support, support higher education, education for all. all.